guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'll show you guys how I get ready when I'm on a time crunch. So the first thing I do is take my vitamins. I've already showered, lotion, put deodorant on, all that good stuff. And then I put my eye mask on just so they can at least sit on my eyes for a good, like at least five minutes if I'm like crushed for time. But most days, if I'm not in a rush, I'll let these sit on for at least like 30 minutes because I've been doing these like every single day and I notice a difference. So I have my headscarf on to protect my hair in the shower, put my ponytail in a ponytail. This ponytail is already installed. I slept with it on. I'll link tutorial on how I did this because it lasts like a few days unless I choose to take it out. By the way, this video is sponsored by Pantene. So I'll be using two of their products from their waterless line, the Never Tell Dry Shampoo, as well as the Dry Conditioner. And so if you're using this on your real hair, you're gonna wanna part, you know, at the roots and spray it at the roots, but this isn't my real hair. It's extensions and you can use this on that as well. I'm just spraying this on the ponytail, making sure I get both sides to soak up any like excess oil or dirt this is gonna create more volume in the hair because it's dry shampoo it's cleaning it and so their dry conditioner these two smell different and the conditioner is my favorite it was my first time using the dry conditioner or using any dry conditioner so i was kind of like wowed by that but it's like it's a perfect pairing because you know with dry shampoo it's like it's shampoo it's gonna like create like a matte effect on the hair this conditioner adds that sheen back in and it conditions it even more i sprayed that all throughout my ponytail as well as my edges because i had like leftover product from laying my edges the day before this and so when you spray the conditioner on your edges it helps like loosen up the hair so you can like relay them without any issue and so now i'm taking a wide tooth comb and just brushing that product all the way through before i add some curls to this ponytail but you guys, these products are so good. And I feel like if you get one, you have to get the other. I know for a fact this dry shampoo is different from other ones I've used because I've used other dry shampoos before. This one doesn't create like that, that powdery feel. If you've used dry shampoo before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like it makes your hair feel like you just put baby powder in it it doesn't create that feel at all so it's like it has the effects of a dry shampoo but it's still very hydrating and nourishing and then when you seal it off with the dry conditioner it's truly an elite combo and it smells so good like i used this in my ponytail the other night when i went out with my friend jade and before she even walked into the bathroom she's like is that perfume like what are you what are you spraying that smells so good and i would insert the footage because we were actually filming i got her natural reaction on camera but I'm blasting Megan the Stallion, so you guys probably wouldn't be to hear her. But basically, I'm like taking really big pieces in this ponytail and doing very loose curls. So it seems like I put more effort into this hairstyle than I did. Also, we're rushing, so we don't have much time to really like, you know, do some intricate curls in this ponytail anyways. After I finish my ponytail, I do my edges. I probably spend the most time on this because I feel like it's the most important. So I sped this part up. Um, but yeah, I took my time on this because I just feel like you have to take your time on your edges. Like that makes your entire hairstyle. So I'm gonna lay those down. By the way, when I'm rushing, like to get ready, I listen to really upbeat music, hence why I'm singing. And so now I'm gonna do some quick skincare. I'm gonna tone first, obviously. I've been toning like legit. Ever since I did that Doge Cat Vogue video, I've started to use toner on a daily, which is so unlike me, but I like it. And so next, I am going to let that dry a little bit, take off my eye mask. I always get sap to take these off because I like to leave them on for as long as possible, but we're in a rush, guys. And so now I'm gonna put on sunscreen and I kind of think I made a mistake. I just started using sunscreen maybe this past, maybe like the last couple weeks and I love it. And this one has like a shimmer to it, so it makes it look really glowy. But I always forget, like, do you put your sunscreen on first or last? Like, I think it's last. <laughs> But I put it on first today 
and it wasn't until i was about to put my moisturizer on that i was like was i supposed to put that on yet oh really quickly um there was like some sheen in my ponytail and i don't like when like my real hair looks shiny and the ponytail doesn't and so i took more of that uh dry shampoo to like get rid of the sheen on the ponytail i don't know if you guys peeped and here's when i realized that i think i made a mistake but I put my moisturizer on anyways, but I feel like you put sunscreen on last. Let me know down below, cause I always forget. But after I moisturize, it's time to do like a quick, this is not even makeup to be honest. I fill in my brows very lightly. My brows are already laminated and for the most part, they're typically tinted. So I don't have to fill them in too much like when I'm on the go. And it's so convenient. I am going to give you guys a brow maintenance video. I'm just gonna let my brows grow out a little bit more so you know I have something to maintain. Um, but I just fill them in lightly with a pencil and it's super quick and easy. Next, I just lightly brush my lash extensions. I desperately need to fill, but they kind of look cute. They look really natural, but I want to fill. And now I'm just gonna take some concealer that's really close to my skin tone, if not like my exact skin tone. And I'm just covering my little blemishes on my scars, you know, things that I don't like. I should have used a lighter concealer in the middle of my forehead though. I use my finger to blend this out and then I take a fluffy brush to like diffuse it, but I feel like your fingers are best. I've tried this method before with a sponge and it's just not as natural, you know what I'm saying? And because like, you know, I only use a little bit of concealer, it didn't take me long to do this whatsoever. The forehead was the longest part because it's the biggest part of my face. But underneath my eye and like by my mouth where I broke out, like it was really easy. It took like two seconds. After I blend that out to make sure it actually stays, I take a translucent powder or like a like an Invisin mat, and I put very little, like only do very little because yesterday when I did this, I did this like routine because I've been doing this like on a daily, I put too much and it like left a white cast. So use only a little bit. And then I apply bronzer. I only use it like at the top like part of my uh, cheekbones because I don't want it to be like too down. I've, I've done this routine so many different times. That's how like I know like exactly what to do. And I put some on my forehead too. And then I put some blush on and I kind of put too much on, but I didn't really stress it because blush is one of the first things to fade throughout the day. So I didn't stress it too much. I just wiped my brush off and kind of like diffused it as much as I could, but it didn't really bother me. It looked good to me. And so for the lips, I super duper duper lightly line my top lip only because my bottom lip already kind of has a natural line. And so I line it super light, you know, massage into my lips so it's not obvious I have lip liner on. And then I just use this clear gloss that my friend Ant gave me and it works really, really good and it lasts a long time. And glosses, they don't always last a long time on me. Don't know why, but this gloss lasts a pretty cool time. So after gloss, I set my face intentionally using like a dewy or like an illuminating spray. So you still have that natural skin like look. And so I sprayed a whole bunch of that on, let it air dry, and then we need to get dressed. So a tip I have when you're in a rush, when you're getting dressed, either wear a dress or like a jumpsuit or a romper. Because if you have to like, you know, pair pants with a shirt, it just takes longer. And so I put this Adidas dress on, grab my Vans, my clutch, you can never go wrong with black, put that on. Of course, I have to end this off with perfume. I'm using Givenchy Pie, which is actually for men, but it's my favorite. And it just reminds me of when I was younger because my uncle used to have this and I took it and I finished the entire bottle. Now, put my glasses on, definitely almost poked myself in the eye, but no biggie, and we are good to go. So once again, thank you to Pantene for sponsoring this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys on Friday.